Hey everybody, welcome back to So Oside's YouTube channel tutorials. I want to thank everybody who came out to our Socation Margaritaville. In your goodie bags, you should have received a kit similar to this. Everybody's is just a little bit different, but I'm going to go through today and show you how to put it all together. So, first things first, everybody has one large piece, and we're going to go ahead and cut out the pre-marked holes here for you. Now, I like to personally use a crop -a dial This is a crop -a dial If you don't have one, you definitely need one of these. It has multiple functions throughout the whole piece, and you can change it. It's got, like, seriously, this is one of the best tools ever. I love this thing. Most of the time I use the small hole punch, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hole punch just in the corners to give each stress point um, a rounded edge so that as we cut and go through these, we won't have any tears or cut past those lines. I like to cut all of mine out with a rotary blade, so, you know, it's really hard matching up that circle into the, uh, oops, into the, um, the corners there. So I'm just going to poke holes in each corner. Just like that. See, now I've got my holes. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and cut those lines out with a rotary blade. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to line each uh, long end of the zipper panel and the long ends and short ends of the ID holder slot with double-sided tape. I'm going to use one in one eighth inch double-sided tape so that it stays within the seam allowance and we don't get all kind of goopies all over the place. So let's prep that. We're going to start with our clear piece. We're going to take the double-sided tape off of our ID window and stick that clear piece right on. All right, next we're going to go ahead and sew an eighth of an inch all the way around. Now, I like to get as close as I can to these edges just to give them a good solid stitch all the way around. Now we're going to go ahead and add double-sided tape to the side and bottom of each and use our big piece face down here. Okay. There you go. So when you open your zipper, you can slide your ID right inside just like that. Now, since we're over here with the double-sided tape, I'm going to go ahead and take our tab and I'm going to put double-sided tape down the center of it so that we can fold it in half and make our key ring. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the star machine and we're going to sew anchor, corner turn, corner turn, anchor, and we're going to go ahead and sew the one side or two, if you'd like, to make our tab holder, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and peel the tape here and prep our zipper. Now to prep our zipper, all we're going to do is take our zipper tape and our zipper pull and connect them. There are lots of tools to be able to help you do this. 
I personally just use my hands. And I know I made that look way easier than a lot of people see it as. I don't know why that comes so easy to me. But what we're going to do is we're going to stick the zipper pull through the hole here that we cut out. And we're going to center our zipper right into that hole. Flip it over and give it a good press. Make sure that your zipper tape is in the center of that open hole and your pull is going to be out of the way. We're going to start across from the pull here, come down. We're going to have to move that pull out of the way because we're not going to be able to sew straight all the way across. All right. And there you now have your zipper. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is fold our whole piece. We're gonna take our tab first, fold it in half, and we're gonna stick a clip on there just to keep it in place. And we're gonna stick that right inside there. I like to make sure that my tab is on the same side that my zipper closes. That way when you're holding on to it or it's hanging on your neck, it's up instead of facing down. So we're gonna go ahead and clip all the way around. Now if you want, you can put double-sided tape all around that. In fact, let's do that. Now, only on half, because we're going to fold it in half and stick it to itself. Now, here I would go ahead and trim the zipper just a little bit. Of course, you don't want to trim too much, because you don't want it to get too close to your stitching and fall apart either. And yes, I have very special scissors for cutting zippers. Say that ten times fast. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take the double-sided tape off. Now we're going to start on the non-tab side, and we're going to sew from the top, corner down, and back up. And there you have it, my friends, your very own lanyard ID wallet. I went ahead and attached my ID holder so that you could see it all come together. You have your pocket here for all your change cards, whatever you want. There's your ID slot. And I actually found an old picture of Ash wearing a matching doll set that I made forever ago. What seems like forever ago. And you just slide that right in. Zip it up and you are all ready to go.